Hi guys, welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to show you how to bring back some arrow effects back to the Windows 8 operating system, just like we have seen back in Windows 7. Now, the thing is that we have our arrow shake and we still have our arrow snap that still work. But the thing is that we don't have that transparency that we used to see through the windows or the taskbar. Now, one thing that I'll go ahead and show you is it's not completely gone and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you can do by starting is just to make sure that we're on topic and on point of where we're supposed to be at. Just right click on your taskbar and then click on properties. And then right here, you will see that the use peak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button at the end of the taskbar. The thing is, you want to have that checked and then move on to the next step by pressing apply, then having OK. Alternatively, you can right click on the desktop and click the peak at desktop and it'll be enabled. So press OK. And what I mean by that is like so. Okay, so for example, if I were to have this window open and a, another window open, you guys can see if I were to go over here, you can see the arrow effect. Now, the thing is, the windows themselves don't have an arrow effect or a transparency. So this is what we're going to be doing. So if you have any windows open, you just either want to minimize them or close them out. And next, you want to right click on the desktop and then go to personalize. Once you go ahead and click personalize, now down below, you'll see high contrast themes. And what we want to do is we want to select the high contrast white theme. Once that's applied, go ahead and pick on the color and then minimize the window once it switches to the color interface. So next step, what you want to do is go to the charms bar and go to settings and then click on personalization. Now in the personalization, once that window opens up, you will select one of the default themes, which could be example earth. Now, once the theme has been applied, switch the color and appearance window we minimized earlier. So with the minimize window that you had on earlier under the personalization, you want to go ahead and open that one up and you want to click on save changes. And once that happens and you'll get a transparent window. And just go ahead and give you guys a few downsides to this. The edges and window tiles aren't blurred. They're actually totally transparent and somewhat distracting. The glass effect is automatically gone when you change the desktop background or when it changes automatically. Uh, and one other thing is something weird happens when you're dragging the windows, like I had mentioned. So you know, that's what you get for, you know, personalizing. Now, the alternative thing that you can do is if you want to save yourself the hassle of doing that, you can always go to a program called Arrow 8 Tuner, which I believe does the same thing in a program format. So if you guys want to try that, go ahead and do that. I'll actually give you guys a link directly to the site. So that's how you get the Arrow effect in Windows 8. If you guys like that, go ahead and thumbs up and try it out for yourselves. All right, until next time, bye.